what is up guys and welcome back to another reaction video the reason why i haven't been posting this week is because i was sick all week and now i feel a little bit better so i thought why not make a video you know i wanted to make content for you guys i want to post a video so yeah here i am uh, this week i popped my lower back out so if i'm a little bit stiff on this video then uh you know what it is if i make neutral phases you know i'm in a lot of pain okay but as long as i don't use my back muscles i'll be fine so yeah let's get right to this reaction video guys let's see what else can be scary besides of ghosts okay people can be scary sometimes too you know so yeah today we got scary people all right let's get into it There is something underneath of that box. You can tell this is an old video because he never do this, you know, like the coming up, coming up scenes. This is awesome. I love Nuke Stop Five. Top Nuke Stop Five is the best. Scary things caught on camera. Scary people. Yeah, buddy. Dumpster diving. So if you're not familiar with dumpster diving, which probably includes most of the people who are not in the U.S., it's okay. basically scrounging through garbage dumpsters usually behind department stores or businesses I've to heard find from, valuable I've things heard or items that have been thrown out. Well, in this video, these guys aren't so successful in their dumpster dive. First off, they find some expired baby food, which okay. one of them actually eats. <laughs> Jenny said he saw like an apple and pear one or something like that. Give me yeah, an apple and pear. What is that? Squash? Yeah, I'll take squash. Really squash? Yeah, let me get squash. I like squash. Yo, he wants it. There we go. Grab one of them drinks right there. All right. Nobody told him to do it. Oh. In the mouth? No, no, no. We gotta see it in the mouth. Not bad. Nah, that's not gross. No, no, that's gross. That's gross. Wash it down. This stuff is good. And later that night, they find a very unexpected surprise in one of the dumpsters. Okay. Yo, no, 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 no. that box moved. Guys, 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 moved in there. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. It moved inside of that dumpster. There is something underneath of that box. I'm not going over there. You look at it. I'm not going over there. Yo. That box right there. There must be a homeless moved. man I'm just sleeping that there. That, oh, hell no. Go, 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 go. Yo. Oh hell no! 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 He's gotta go! Oh no! Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Oh, hell no. Dude, yo, they're all scared of one homeless person. Are you all right? Dude, what the hell was that? Who knows how many there could be in there? Dude, you, know? you gotta be hitting me, bro. The guys actually uncover a homeless man in the dumpster who angrily comes after them. Yeah, I would be pissed too. Joking that one. That, oh, hell no. oh, 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 that was his home for the night. Oh hell no. 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 He's got to go. Yo, they were scared. Oh hell no. Freaking cut my arm. One of the guys gets a small cut on his arm, but otherwise they manage to escape unharmed. I'm the curtain. This video was actually a collaboration yeah. between two Estonian urban explorers. ET Don't ever disturb a homeless man, you know? Because these guys didn't know, okay? But if you do know that there could possibly be a homeless man or ho homeless woman, just try to not disturb them. They already have it tough as it is. I'm just saying. He explores in more and exploring with Darknet. Okay. So this is one of those rare videos where we actually get to see the action from two different points of view. Oh, uh, that's neat. Anyway. That's cool. These urban explorers were investigating an abandoned building that had served as a sauna until 1995. On the bottom floor, they find some equipment and a few dangerous open holes in the floor. Then, they head up to the second floor, and that's when things start to get a little creepy. Now that place is dangerous. At the end of the hallway, there is a white door with the odd phrase, Ghost Room, scrawled on it in marker. When they try okay. to open the door, it won't budge, even though it's not locked. It's as if something is wedged against the door. All right. <laughs> yeah, they're probably scared as fudge. 
to the room. Yeah. Yo, I would mess with that door if it says ghost room on it. Would you? Oh, they opened it. <laughs> it's now open. Okay, a pole was blocking it. From the sure inside, enough, it though. Almost as if someone has intentionally barred the door from the inside with a metal pole. When they enter, they see a curtain or bed sheet covering the door of one of the back rooms. Okay. Nevertheless, they continue deeper into the so-called ghost room. Yo, I would never go in there. One of his friends warns the explorer who calls himself Darknet that he shouldn't continue. Okay, well, if he's warning you, then don't go there. Okay? But Darknet doesn't listen insisting on seeing what's behind the curtain you got always got to make decisions as a team not <laughs> solo that's the worst <laughs> thing you can do <laughs> Yo! Yo, was that a homeless man? Because it didn't sound like one. Yo, and all those holes on the floor? That is so dangerous. What the heck? No, that sound though. Yo, that's a weird Boys sound coming from a human an being. Angry man in pursuit. After charging down the stairs and avoiding some holes in the floor, they make it outside and back to their car. Creeping around the corner. Some Canadian urban explorers are checking out an abandoned insane asylum when they encounter something very unexpected. Okay, something unexpected. Okay. Where is your. I don't know what I said. But... This is where they kept the crazies. Yeah, I don't like the word crazies, you know. They're all human beings. What? Some are mentally ill. But to call them crazies is a little bit disrespectful. Shh, shh, shh. Did you hear that? Man, that was coming from upstairs. That was coming from upstairs. Yo. Let's go see. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. It came from upstairs. It's up the stairs. Do you hear that? Go first, man. No. Because I want to get this on video. I want to get this on video, man. Did you did you watch the asylum? I know the phrase they everything for the content, but damn. You don't want to risk your life for the content. Man. Oh Yo, what is that? Yo! What the heck? This way. Where'd the other guys go? Where'd the other guys go? Now, because this person is acting so bizarre, some people initially claimed that this was a creature, a cryptid, or something other than just a person making very strange noises. Nah, nah, but nah. If you look closely, this person is wearing shoes. So, that's just a very skinny person moving in a very bizarre way. I think that's a skinny a person on drugs patient? or something. Is it some random disturbed person living in the abandoned building? Or is it all just a hoax? You decide. I think 
it's a human being on like drugs or some other psychedelics. I don't have anything else to explain it. I think that's it. Welcome to the neighborhood. Number one, okay. Welcome to the neighborhood. This next video was sent to me directly by Cassie Lee 1991. Okay. So Cassie says that when she and her boyfriend first moved into their house, they went to sleep one night and woke up to find this creepy spectacle outside their home. Okay. Someone sprinkled rice all over her boyfriend's car and completely surrounded their house with it, as if drawing a circle around their home for some kind of ritual. That is weird. It was weird. also obvious that a candle had been burned on their sidewalk throughout the night. Yo. But that's not even the creepiest part of the stranger's nighttime activities. On their back doorstep, Cassie found another candle that also looked like it had been burned through the night. There was a wooden wow. log, bottled water, a nectarine drink, an empty can of seltzer water which covered what looks like some freshly picked berries and flowers, and perhaps strangest of all, an empty dog food can with a spoon in it. Oh, and the welcome mat that all this stuff is laying on? Cassie says that it doesn't belong to them either. Okay. The person who left all these things also left the welcome mat that they are sitting on. Now keep in mind that all of this was done quietly overnight in said, the dark you. while they slept just a few feet away inside their home. Yo, that is Cassie creepy. Cassie says that their neighborhood is pretty quiet and peaceful and nothing like this has happened before or since. So what do you think that this person was doing creeping around their house all night long while they slept? Why were they lighting candles and leaving strange objects? Yo, that is now, crazy. Personally, I've never seen anything like this. Nice car, though. So if you have any idea Art what I'll this take it is, any day. please let me know down in the comments. As always, thanks Yo, for watching. That was weird. What kind of ritual would it be? That is so creepy, though. When you're asleep and that stuff happens outside? Oh my god, I would never sleep again. I would install CCTV cameras, but damn. Maybe you guys know about it. If you do, then please leave it in the comments because I'm really curious to see what it is. Or maybe you've heard of it. But yeah, guys, it feels good to be recording again, even though my back hurts like hell at the moment. But uh, yeah, that was it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, then hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next episode. I'm going to lay down on the couch and I'll see you next time. Peace.